Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and today I have another testing Aussie drugstore makeup video. Here in Australia, we do get things a little bit later than the rest of the world. So I've got some new products that have recently hit our shelves, including some Australian brands. I'm super excited to dip into it. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up while you're watching and if you're new, take a look a look. Take a look. Uh, I was trying to say, Take a look around, consider subscribing. I do have a ton of these testing Aussie drugstore makeup videos, so I will leave a few of them down below in the description box if you wanna go and binge. All right, to begin, I have two new primers here by Ulta 3, the Starlit Illuminizing Primer, which gives an instant radiance, and the Galactic Gloss Hydrating Primer, which gives a glass skin finish. I was watching my friend here on YouTube, Samantha Izondu. She tested the whole Galactic collection from Ulta 3, and she tested both primers, one on each side of her face. So I think I'm going to do the same thing because I want to see which one I like better. What is the difference? Because they both seem like glowy, you know? All right, so starting with the Illuminizing Primer, it's a light champagne color. Oh, that is giving a beautiful glow doesn't have fragrance, which I like. It feels very lightweight on the skin too. I love that. I, I love a glowy primer. I just feel like it gives so much more like radiance and life back into your skin. I don't know, my skin's quite dull, so <laughs> I really appreciate it. All right, and then the Galactic Gloss Primer is just a clear liquid. I'll use a different brush on this side. Okay, already this one feels a little bit heavier, a little oily. I wonder if it'll dry down. So I can see that this side looks very glossy and this side just has more of a, a sheen. All right, so the illuminizing side has dried down quite nicely and the gloss side, it still feels quite wet. Like I'm getting residue on my fingers, like an oily residue. I don't know. I really like the finish of it, but I'll give it a few more minutes. And in the meantime, I have this Revolution Line Fix Under Eye Primer. Now this one is an under eye primer to smooth and fill fine lines. I am so excited to try this. I definitely have fine lines under my eyes. Some concealers settle into them worse than others, but they're there. It just is what it is. I'm very interested to see how this feels like I don't want it to feel heavy because the under eyes is already a bit of a um, tricky spot when it comes to your makeup looking cakey. So I'm hoping this isn't extremely heavy. I might even just apply it to one under eye to really see if it makes a difference. All right, so it feels very silky. I'm just going to gently tap that. And I don't want to go in with too much because I'm really scared <laughs> that it's going to be a hot cakey mess. If this actually works, I think this will become one of my new favorite products because look, those fine lines, they're coming in strong with age, you know? All right, so it definitely doesn't feel heavy at all. I can barely even tell it's there. The under eye feels very soft and silky though, very smooth. For foundation, I have another one by Ulta 3 and this is the Luminous Filter Nourishing Foundation and I have the shade Vanilla. This one says that you will achieve that flawless filtered skin perfection with a weightless nourishing formula. So it's just in this squeezy tube packaging. I'm going to put a bit on my palette here. Ooh, I really like this shade. I do have some pretty big blemishes at the moment. So this will actually be a good test to see what the coverage is like. It does claim to be a buildable, breathable, medium coverage. Okay, that has such a beautiful hydrating finish. It's blending really nicely on my skin. It's not clinging to any dry patches. I'm not going to take it all the way up under my eye because I don't want to get too heavy under there, especially with the primer. I would say it's a light coverage right now. No foundation, foundation. Now this is the side with the glossy primer. I can definitely see the different finishes between the primers. This side is looking super dewy. Whereas this side just has a bit of a sheen. Is that an ice cream truck? Who's buying ice cream from an ice cream truck? Is that, I think that's still a thing. All right, well, I'm going to put on a second layer and blend it out to see how the coverage builds up while I wait for that ice cream truck to F off. All 
All right, hopefully that song is fading off into the distance. <laughs> but the second layer is on and I am loving it. I feel like the coverage definitely built up. So this was the glossy primer side. You can still see some blemishes, but it's giving a decent coverage. And then this side is the Illuminizing Primer. Still glowy, but a bit more subtle. All right, I'm liking it. Let's get into the concealer now. I'm going in with the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer. This is my absolute holy grail, super full coverage. It already doesn't settle into fine lines that much, but it still does. All concealers do. On me. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes. I used to be all about the shade 322 Ivory, but I've kind of been drifting more into 325 Bisque. It's just a touch deeper. I do have one big line on this side that always settles, but the lines on the inner corner don't seem to be appearing as much as they are on this side. So you can see that larger fine line there. But on the inner corner compared to this one. I want to use some cream products, so I'm not going to powder just yet. For bronzer, I'm just quickly going to dip into this Milk Makeup Stick. I did do a video recently where I tested a whole bunch of makeup brands that I had never used before, and this was one of them. So I'll link that down below if you want to go and watch. For blush, I have the Emco Beauty Cheek and Lip Tint. And I have used this product before, but I have a new shade, and this is Rose Glow. Here are some swatches of the shade. So we've got Dusk. Tango and the new one, Rose Glow. This shade I know looks like, whoa, but it blends out really, really sheer. I think I might actually just lightly set my under eyes because I don't want to put on the blush and have it quite high and then go in with powder over the top and get a weird little concoction. Because I have used this before, I know that it does apply nicely over powder, but I don't think the powder would apply nicely over the top of it. Know what I mean? <laughs> I'm going in with my favorite CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder. This is in the shade 120 Fair, and I like to use my Beauty Blender. Just take a bit and then lightly tap under the eye. I'm also going to set my forehead and a little bit around my mouth. Okay, back to the blush. I've put some on my palette here and just spread it out. I then like to take the bum of my Beauty Blender Tap that in and let's apply. Okay, it's definitely more sheer than I was thinking. Thank God, I was a little bit scared. <laughs> oh my God, that is so glowy. Look how dewy that looks. Ooh, let's try and build up that pigment a little bit more. Okay, I, I like the color. I feel like it's given a very natural flush to the skin. The formula is super dewy, like look at my skin. Damn. But this is nice. It's subtle. I can see it. It looks good. It looks healthy. Very nice. I think I like this shade better than Tango. Tango is just a little bit too like orangey peach for my skin. The next product might actually help me out a bit here. It's another one by Emco Beauty and it is the raved about Highlight and Glow Wand. And I have the shade Peach Glow. Now I'm not even sure if these are meant to be like highlighters or blushes. I think they're highlighters. The only reason I question it is because it's pretty pigmented. Everyone has been raving about these. I'm going to do the same method with the bum of my sponge, but I'm just going to squeeze it this time so I can place it directly on the cheekbones. Okay, I used all that up, so I might go in and dot it on my face like I see them do. It's a little bit hard to tell because my cheeks were already so dewy. I don't know, what do you think? I may, Maybe I shouldn't have tested it out with this particular blush. I've just noticed my under eyes and if we take a closer look, so I did powder, we can see on this side, it's starting to break up a little bit. Like my fine lines, you know, they're making their way through as they do. Whereas this side, it's only that one big one, which I said it always does anyway. The inner corner is nowhere near as bad as this side. So I think that it's working. The next products that I have are from Real Techniques and they have launched some sprays. So we've got the Glow Finish Blend Extender. And this one says that it is infused with vitamin C and electrolytes to hydrate and brighten. Brighten, sorry. <laughs> 
Brighten with a D. And then I've got the Satin Finish Blend Extender. And this one says it is infused with niacinamide to help minimize shine and the appearance of pores. Now both of them say shake well, spray on sponge and press into skin or spray directly all over your face. I think I want to give it a go on the sponge and I'm leaning more towards the Glow Finish Blend Extender. I'm just going to find a clean side of the sponge. Just two little sprays there. And gently press. I have definitely seen this technique done before with makeup sprays and setting sprays. And I think it just kind of helps to get rid of that powdery look. So I'm just going to press that on the areas that I put powder. My forehead looks good. It looks nice and smooth, definitely not powdery. It feels very refreshing doing it like this. Can anyone else tell that winter's here because your lips have just turned to shit? I might actually go in with this one as well because it says it reduces shine and the appearance of pores. And I know I've purposely gone in and used like hydrating glowy primers, but let's see if it really does take that down a bit. So let's go in with this side here and I do have some larger pores. I actually think that worked. Let me turn down the brightness. Do you see that difference or am I tripping out? The next product I have I am super excited about. This is from the brand Misguided. So I went to Chemist Warehouse the other week and they had this big, beautiful makeup stand full of so much new makeup by this brand. I haven't really heard anyone talking about it before. I just picked up the one product. So this is a tinted brow pen. If you've been around, you know how much I love these kinds of products. And I picked up the shade Dark. They did have about four and I swatched them all, but the lighter shade like end up turning this weird green, I think. I don't know. It just, the undertone looked off. So that's why I went with the Dark. Now I did just tint my brows before this video. That's why they look like they're already filled in. So I might just go in with some clear brow gel to keep them in place. This one I'm using is the NYX Brow Glue. I am really liking it. It definitely adds like a tackiness to the brow, which helps to keep them in place. And the wand is really tiny as well. I'm a sucker for that. All right, so I've brushed all my hairs up, but if we have a closer look, we can see in this arch, I'm a little gappy. Also the end of my tail. The front of my brow as well is just mostly dye and like usually it's product, there's no hair there. So I'm going to use this to draw in some little strokes. So let me just do a quick swatch of it. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful fine lines. It has a felt tip. It's quite sturdy and a really good size as well. Let's have a real good close up there. Oh my God, okay. <gasps> I'm excited for this. Look how fine those lines are. I like that the shape's doing this. I love it already. Those lines are so fine. And I like that the felt tip isn't too flexible. So you can really place it where you want it. Okay, I want a little heavy on this side. So let's quickly just blend that out with a spoolie. Okay, first impressions, love the fine tip, works beautifully. This shade is very dark though. If my brows weren't tinted, I think it would be way too dark. Because they're tinted, it like blends in, but it's dark. As I said though, there are lighter shades. You just yeah, do what you want to do, you know? But the way that that brow pen worked, all right, going to put on some eyeshadow and then we will get into a new mascara. All right, I just went in with this Essence Bronze This Way palette. I use the deeper shade pretty much all over and underneath and then this lighter shade to blend out the edges with a little bit of the gold in the center of the lid. Nothing special. I swear my eyeshadow skills are getting worse as well. Like, I just don't do it as much. Next for mascara, I'm going to be testing out the Rimmel Kind and Free. So this says that it is a lengthening mascara with brush fibers. It's clump free, smudge proof, and water resistant. The wand is quite different to anything I've used before, really. It's very thin. Um, okay. For some reason, I 
thought this was going to be boring. Look at that eyelash. <sighs> As if. Look at those inner corner lashes, how long they look. Okay, I was not expecting this. There's got to be, this brush is like magic. Let's go in with another little layer and just see. I cannot believe this. Absolutely agree with how lengthening that it is and definitely clump free as well. I already have pretty long lashes, which I'm very lucky. So for a mascara to impress me with its lengthening ability, I am blown away. And it was so easy too. Like I wasn't trying to smooth out clumps or lumps or they weren't getting stuck together. They just beautifully separated and lengthened. All right, for lipstick, I'm going in with the Revlon Colorstay Satin Ink and this is in the shade 007 partner in crime. All right, well, that is all for today's video. Overall, I am pretty impressed with everything that I used. The mascara, definitely a standout, as well as the brow pen. But like, I love the primers and I love the foundation. Let's have another look at how the under eye primer is going. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think that's going to take a little bit more testing, but I had so much fun testing out this new makeup. If you have used any of these products, leave me a comment below letting me know your thoughts. I would love to have a little chat about it. If you're new here, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. I am getting closer and closer to 10K. Thank you to everyone for watching this video. If you aren't already, come and follow me over on Instagram and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.